Child, that Ozempic is killing y'all. How we go from one extreme to the next? How we get from BBLs being overstuffed to anorexic, looking like stick figures? This is just crazy. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Child, how we go from wanting a big old booty to no booty at all? Now, I think the creators of Ozempic went to Hollywood and wrote some checks, honey. Starting with the Kardashians. You know, they're the number one influencers on the planet right now. Now, the Kardashians. How they go from wanting to be curvy to skinny? You know, Chloe and Kim like black men. Black men like their women thick. You know, curvy with body. Not skinny and everything they do they do for a check they don't do nothing for nothing everything they do got a coin attached to it now i think the creators of ozempic paid the kardashians to promote this supplement i'm gonna call it a supplement i ain't gonna call it what it is i'm gonna just call it a supplement and I think they paid a couple of other people too, but, you know, the Kardashians are the main influencers. Now, I don't have a problem with people promoting things and getting their coin and getting to their bag. But I do have a problem with people influencing other people to be unhealthy and to go from one extreme to the next. See, these people got money. They could play with their bodies like that. They can go from thick to skinny overnight and if anything goes wrong they could afford to fix it whereas other people you know they'll just be stuck with the consequences of their actions now here's an honorary kardashian black china who has also gone from bbl to ozempic i don't think it's a coincidence that all of these celebrities are deciding to lose weight all at the same time i think they're they are being paid to promote this unhealthy supplement unfortunately you know a lot of people are falling for it because it's like the supplement you know it's like a dream come true supplement everybody wants to lose weight but nobody wants to diet and exercise Black China has been very transparent about all of these surgeries that she has had over the years. And, you know, it's all promotion. Plain and simple. She's promoting plastic surgery. I mean, listen, it's just, it looks crazy to me. She used to be such a beautiful girl. Now she looks like a cartoon character. And it's just sad, like, people would do anything for money these days. And yes, these people might post themselves working out, and they might work out as well, but we know the real tee -hee, hee We know how you really dropped all that weight. Here's another honorary Kardashian, Scott Disick. He's like the poster child for Ozempic. He really looked like the walking dead, him. <laughs> I mean, just crazy. I mean, this man has been with the Kardashians for far too long. He has to be batshit crazy by now. As we know, the Kardashian curse. Any man that gets anywhere near them literally loses his mind. I'm literally starting to believe that the Kardashians really are witches because... Anyone that's associated with them either lose their self-identity or they lose their mind completely. It's like they literally suck the life force out of people and then fill them with their life force. <laughs> I know I sound crazy, but yeah. I mean, look at this man. He looks like he died three years ago. 
But that's what Hollywood want people to look like. For real. I know he's going above and beyond for this Ozempic. He's really crushing it. Like he killing Kim and Chloe. <laughs> he killing Kim, Chloe, and uh, Black China. He doing his thing, child. And it's crazy because the Kardashians drive everybody else crazy to the point of no return. And they seem to be doing just fine. Well, correction. The women seem to be doing just fine while the men tend to spiral out of control. <laughs> Sad but true. Look, look at Bruce. Look at poor Bruce. Mm -mm -mm. They brother Rob. Where's Rob? Like, I haven't seen this man in I don't know how long. Rob literally, like, fell off the face of the earth. And, you know, understandably so. I mean, ugh. And I don't have enough time to even get started on Kanye. Here's another Ozempic spokesperson, Oprah. I feel like Oprah has been on a weight loss journey all my life. Like, ever since I can remember, this woman has been trying to lose weight. Like, over the years, she's lost it, gained it, lost it, gained it. But with this Ozempic, it seems like it helps people keep the weight off. You know, like this for the... And I ain't gonna lie, Oprah look good. Oprah is the only person that's on Ozempic that don't have the Ozempic face. Like her face still looks healthy. So I don't, I, I don't know what she doing, but yeah, it, it looks... She looks good. Everybody else are looking kind of sickly, but Oprah look, Oprah look good. This is the best I've ever seen Oprah look, ever. And she's been on TV ever since I can remember. And she looks amazing. But I still don't, you know, I don't think this Ozempic stuff is healthy, but... <laughs> Oprah really looks like she's living her best life. And kudos to her. I'm happy that she gets to have this pretty girl era. You know, everybody don't really get to have that and I feel like you know she she's having that right now like look Oprah look good so congratulations to her I guess she should definitely enjoy this time while it lasts because who knows what the long-term effects of Ozempic will be and here are some more Ozempic champions, Sharon Osbourne and Jessica Simpson. You know, Sharon Osbourne used to be just as big as Oprah, if not bigger. Yeah. Um, but before Ozempic, she did lose a lot of weight. Um, and she managed to keep it off. Um, you know, she was on a show, I think, The View, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she lost a lot of weight, but she wasn't this skinny like she still had a good amount of meat on her bones she wasn't ozempic skinny yeah so she's definitely looking like night of the living dead um it's it's just sad i don't understand how people think that this looks good like it's it's so sick it's just sick and it's crazy how you have a whole industry that promotes this man this woman looks nuts she literally looked like she escaped from somebody's third floor hospital and here's another client tammy roman i'm gonna show y'all a video of tammy Talking about her eating disorder. Now, Tammy has been battling a eating disorder for a very long time. As you can see in the clip, she was very young when she had her mouth wired shut so she can lose weight. So a drug like Ozempic is a dream come true for a woman like Tammy. As you can see, even though Tammy has been battling this eating disorder for years, she's always maintained a healthy weight until recently with, 
you know, this newfound supplement. Now she looks like a frail old lady. All of Hollywood is taking this stuff. Zendaya, Zendaya, whatever her name is. She And she's young. But look, I know she's young. But she, was nev- she wasn't that thin. And then we have Miss Eva Marcel. Who claims she lost a lot of weight due to her divorce. Which she's the one who initiated the divorce. So it's like, how are you grieving so hard over a divorce that you chose to have? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You could have worked on your marriage if you wanted it that bad. I don't understand how you grieve so hard over something that you willingly threw away. Now, I put out a short to this video about a week ago and someone left this comment. Eva was going through a divorce and she acknowledged that her weight loss was due to depression. Tammy has health issues, including an eating disorder. I know everyone wants to be a content creator, but try to take a different approach. Okay, I take whatever approach I want to take. And no, everyone does not want to be a content creator because a lot of people are afraid to speak their mind because they're afraid of thumb thugs that get in the comment section and say all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, so... I don't believe, and this is just my opinion, but I don't believe that Eva lost weight due to any type of depression. Because like I said, she could have fought for her marriage if she wanted it. She chose to get out of it. Um, So yeah, I don't think that's why she lost the weight. I think she's taking the supplement. And Tammy as well. I believe, yes, Tammy did suffer or does suffer with a eating disorder, but I believe that this is this supplement is like a dream come true for her. Anybody that would go so far as to wire their mouth shut to lose weight will definitely take this supplement. So just because those women had those issues going on doesn't mean that they're not taking this supplement. That's all I'm saying. And hey, this is just my opinion. But it's my video, so that's all that matters. Thank you guys for watching. I especially appreciate those of you that stayed throughout the entire video. I will talk to you in the next one.